We need to get Scott to chopping, you know what I'm saying? Because this is it for sticks. As a matter of fact, we're not going to have enough for this. God darn it. God darn it. Come on, Scott. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Miss Survival. I'm just having some dinner here. I actually, my guy was getting pretty freaking hungry. It was weird. I'm running around, and all of a sudden, my game got really dark. And, I, and like, it, it's not weird that it got dark. It's not weird that I got hungry. It's weird that I didn't know what the hell was going on. I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? Why is my screen dark? Well, I don't know what's, what's happening here. Um, obviously, I was not thinking straight because I was malnourished. <laughs> Oh, pretty freaking good. Pretty freaking good. All right, guys, we're going to be doing some building today. Um, I want to do more stuff in the mine, but, you know, we got to divide up the episodes a little bit. You know, <clears throat> don't want to be doing everything all at once in one spot. So we are going to be dividing up a little bit here, and we're going to be doing a little building here. Now, I really want to do Cage's Cheat Day Cafe, but I think it's more important that we get this area sorted, okay? Now, I remember last episode I was talking about how I wanted a roof. Well, I think I'm going to put a, um, a shack right here. I think that might be pretty good, but I think I'm going to replace it because it doesn't like quite look lined up the way I want it to be. There was two options I had here. I could have just put the um, storage lockers up against this wall and use that as kind of like a roof, put some fencing in here. Um, honestly, that still would be pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to lie. That would be pretty cool. The reason I don't like it is because it's right on the outside of the base. Now, the way I'm thinking, and this will never happen. It doesn't, it doesn't happen, but for my own personal you know, I don't know, immersion of the game. If we ever get attacked, I don't want my resources on the very outside of a wall. That doesn't make much sense to me. Um, they're not going to be protected as, as well as they would be if they were in, like, kind of a small cabin on the side here. So, you know, I mean, but it would look cool with the fencing here, though, man. I would put a fencing. I would put fencing from here to here, from here to here, and then probably some from here to here and put a little gate on it. And then you'd be able to walk in this area and there'd be some fencing and some lockers up against the up against the um the wall there. But I think I'm ultimately not gonna do that because like I said, it just it kinda like I know again, it doesn't matter. Like this is not gonna be a thing. Nobody's ever gonna try and break in on that side. I mean, eventually maybe you'll have like bandits or something try and raid you. Um, but that's not a thing right now. It used to be a thing. He, he used to have, uh, the bandits would come and attack you. If, um, if you attack them first, then they would eventually come to your base and seek you out. Um, it was pretty cool, but it, it was like, it caused some death loops for people and people were not happy with it. So I think his idea was until he gets a, a little bit better balanced, he's going to take it out. Um, and it hasn't been in the game since. Um, I never had a problem with it, but a lot of people did. All right. So we're going to put that right there. Yeah, that should be pretty good. That should be pretty good. All right, so we're gonna need we're gonna need a hammer, nails. We're gonna need some wood. We're gonna need some of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, I hope someone's working on that wood right now, but you know we'll see. Uh, we'll take these nails and we will take these components, and we're gonna take the hammer. Stop, hammer time. That's right. And let's see if this wood's being worked on. It better be. Oh, it is beautiful, beautiful. Now let's empty this out so it doesn't start falling all over the floor. All right, and while she's doing her thing, I'll come over here. We need to deal with the water situation as well today. Um, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But this is more, this is the most important thing um, because, you know, this whole, this whole like, I don't know what you would call it, this blacksmith area has been a cluster F since day one. Also, one thing I would really like to see in the game, um, please, for the love of God, uh, make these shacks have a floor, please. Pretty please with sugar on top. I'll be your best friend. I'll be your best friend, Ratty. Please. Like, the fact that they don't have a floor, it just drives me up a wall. The fact that they don't have a floor, it drives me up a wall. There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and pick these up. And we'll take these as well. I'd like more storage in the um, in these uh, desks as well. Uh, so the stuff doesn't fall over the floor. Because you have to make quite a bit of these, um, quite a few of these uh, boards, right? And there's just not enough room in there, so they end up falling on the floor. You're good, Rachel. You've uh, You've been doing fine. You've been doing what you've been doing. We gotta keep an eye out for the mist now. I don't think we've gotten a I actually I don't think I've well, I don't know if I've gotten a mist in a No, you can get mist in the mine. I was gonna say, I haven't gotten a mist in a long time. And then I was thinking, well, you wouldn't know because you've been in the mine. And then I was thinking, the hell you say. Um the mist does come in the mine, so yeah. Alright, cool. Very cool. And look, we got room to get around. 
come in here. Oh, yeah, this is going to... Yeah, I think I made the right choice here. All right, so let's come on in here. Let's sleep through the night and let's, um, you know... We could probably work through the night, but again, I'm going to I'm gonna say this again. I mentioned it last video. I'm going to mention it again because it's super important that Raddy gets to work on this. We absolutely freaking need a way to claim territory so we make a base. There's nothing more rage-inducing in a survival game. Because <clears throat> survival games are all about grabbing territory, you know? Like, I grab that territory. I start with a little bit of territory, and I grab a little bit more, and I grab a little more. Start expanding, start building. That's progression, right? And there's nothing more frustrating than when you grab territory and you make it your own and you're building in it and the enemy spawns inside of it. That is rage inducing. This is an early access game. It's a work in progress. I get that. I'm not mad. Um, but I think it needs to be a, a pretty high priority. I think we need to be able to um, have some way to have these guys not spawn inside our base because it's, it's just it's it's the worst. It really is. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go in the shack and we are going to build ourselves some security lockers. And we're going to build quite a few of them in here because we're going to need a lot of room in here. Faux show. Uh, oh, hold on. There we go. And we'll put one there. We'll build at least three just to start off with. I mean, honestly, we're probably going to need more than three. Um, because, yeah, I'm going to make it a lot of trips to the mine and bring a lot of stuff back with me. So let's go ahead and do that. I haven't got a chance to stream this game since Alpha Alpha 18 came out in 7 Days to Die. Which is a bit of a bummer. It's not a bummer. I mean, it's nice that like Alpha 18 is doing so well and people want to see it. But it's you know, I've been ha I haven't had, I haven't been able to find time to uh, play this game and like do some of the farming and stuff and maybe record episodes on Twitch and stuff. And people actually come to Twitch and be like, All right, "When are you going to stream Mist?" So it's a bit of a you know it's a little disheartening. Like I just want to stream everything. You know, I just want to stream everything. And um, no matter what I do, someone is going to be disappointed and cry themselves to sleep at night. Um, well, maybe that's a little bit of an overstatement, but you know you get what I'm saying. I can't make everyone happy, unfortunately. All right, there we go. Let's go grab some more materials. Man, I'm freaking hungry again. Don't forget, guys, um, he did fix it so the drying rack will not store meat. At least that's what he said. Uh, I don't, I haven't like, I haven't seen any meat at 0% stay on the drying rack. So eat your eat the meat on the drying rack with the lowest percentages available. I mean, you probably do that anyway. But yeah, try and get rid of that meat, guys, because I'm, I'm telling you, I think he fixed it. Uh, man, my thirst. My thirst! All right, well, got a thirst all the way up there. That's pretty nice. All right, so let's finish this bad boy up over here. Um, did we get what we needed? I don't freaking know. Uh, man, we're going through a lot of components. I think we're going to craft some components today, guys. Now, I could go... Oh, boy. Hold on. I could easily go out and just grab more cars for components. But I want to show you guys that you can use your mining resources for components, right? Um, you can actually craft them. You can craft components and you can craft, me craft metal scrap. Now, you might be wondering, Cage, why are you going out and getting all these cars when you could just craft the components from the stuff in the mine? Well, that's a very good question, imaginary commentator. Let me answer it. Uh, the, the reason you go out and get the cars is because the conversion rate for the stuff you mine into components or scrap metal is absolutely just the worst ever. I don't know I don't know what the hell he was thinking. He's got to do something about that. Um, you should be getting like eight times as many resources you get as putting into it. Like basically, I wouldn't mind you putting in the same amount of resources and just getting like a stack out of it. That would be fine. Um, it's so freaking bad though. So freaking bad. Uh, so I would like to see that looked into, but, um, I'll still show you. So in case, you know, you don't want to go out and get cars. Maybe you want to mine. Maybe you guys like mining. I don't really enjoy the mining in this game. Um, it's not terrible. It wouldn't be so bad if the conversion rate wasn't so bad, but it, it is, the conversion rate is terrible and the mining isn't really fun. Um, you know, you don't really expect mining to be fun. It's very few games where mining is actually fun. Like I don't blame the developer for that, but I do blame him for the awful conversion rate. But I guess the conversion rate is not really that big of a deal um, because you can just go out and get cars. So, you know, it's fine. It's all good. Just, you know. All right. Well, it's lined up pretty well. You know? I oh, they got a rock in here, which is kind of annoying, but that's why I want a floor. Anyway, uh, you might be wondering, what the conversion rate? What the hell are you talking about, Cage? What are you on about, bro? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. All right. So let's grab all this. We're just going to grab everything we can. 
Um, and we're just going to start cooking it up. We're going to cook up everything. We're going to cook up the iron bars, throw it on Ra on uh, Rachel's bed. She doesn't seem to mind, so if she doesn't mind, I don't mind. Uh, that's going to be a waste of two pieces. I don't care. Um, now we need to see what we need to see to make what we need to make. And that was, was that confusing? Yeah, it's pretty confusing. One person was asking me, Cage, why are you making copper ingots? Why are you making zinc ingots? This is why. For one zinc ingot, one iron ingot, and one copper ingot, you get two components. This should be eight, at least. Maybe more. <laughs> uh, you know, so we're going to go ahead and grab all that stuff. We're going to make that up. So we need copper, zinc. Uh, let's see if we have any more. We're going to need iron. We actually have a lot of... Uh, we actually have a decent amount of this stuff, which is pretty cool. But we've been saving it up over a long time, you know. Uh, so that looks pretty good to me. Whoa, scared the crap out of me, lady. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and put this stuff in here. And in here. And copper. It looks like copper is the one thing we're kind of lowest on. Which, you know, is fine. Let's go ahead and uh, smelt that down. And uh, how long is that going to take? Probably an hour and a half, right? Yep, hour and a half. We're going to go take a nap in Rachel's, uh, Kate's bed, only because she's the closest one. There we go. Sleep for... No, we need to sleep for more than one hour, Cage. You just said an hour and a half, bro. All right, you know what? I'm just going to kind of hang out. I'm just going to sit for 30 minutes. Just got to kind of sit down. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I'm having a conversation with Rachel. All right, Rachel, good conversation. All right, so now that stuff should all be cooked up. And that goes there, that goes there, you go here, you go there, blah, 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 gold ingots. All right. So, Rachel, it's time to throw, make it rain on your bed again. All right. Oh, that's not Rachel, that's, that's uh, Scott. I should throw some gold bars on Scott's bed, I just confuse the hell out of him. He won't know what the hell's going on. Be like, well, I don't know how I feel about this. There we go. All right. I don't know how she's supposed to sleep with all that gold there, but she seems to like it. She's kind of like Scrooge McDuck. She needs a big money bin to roll around in. All right, so is that everything? Everything. I think it is. We're going to take that. All right. <clears throat> and we'll put this stuff back in here. Oh, we should cook up that iron. There we go. Let's see if we have anything more in our truck. I feel like I should have more than this, but... I'm telling you, man, you like you hit all these nodes, you just you don't get a lot from them. You really don't. Oh, there's some. Okay. Let's make sure we take everything out of the truck. That is from the mine. Oh, there we go. I got some more some more iron. Okay. And a bunch of food in there. And okay. It's all clean. It's all clean. We're gonna put the iron in here and uh, cook that up while we're uh, crafting our stuff. You might be asking why when I take stuff out of here, I put it in one spot and then stack it. If you take it out of here and try and stack it, it won't stack. So I just avoid that because I know it won't work. All right, there we go. 22. It's actually not a bad haul. That is actually not a bad haul. Looks like we should probably go to sleep to finish this. No, nah, we'll be good. We'll be good. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. You know, but I, I did spend a lot of time. It's over a, a large amount of time. You know how many cars I could hit to get that in the meantime? Yeah, hitting cars is definitely where it's at. Oh my goodness, I'm dehydrated again. Well, at least I'm not hungry. Oh, wait. God. Oh my god. All right, we, get, we don't have time to wait for this dehydration. We got to take, uh, we're going to have to take some drinks out of this. And this is, this is stuff supposed to be for emergencies only. Although I guess this is an emergency. But when I say emergencies, I mean on the road emergencies, you know. It's not really what this is supposed to be for. Uh, what I'm trying to say is we need to deal with some uh, water situation. I'm going to do it right now because the hell with it. All right, so uh, how much water do we have in here? Four liters. One, two, three, four. Let's give that four liters. And I'm not going to fill all three of these up right now because I just don't feel like it. But uh, oh, do that. I didn't turn these off. I was wondering if the battery actually uh, burned out, but it did not. All right, so there you go. Take it all. I'm just going to put another 10, 10 uh, liters in there and just, you know, have that one go at it. And uh, I'm going to have to do more of this water stuff, but I'm not going to, I don't want to do it on camera. Honestly, I don't want to do it at all. Uh, I find this water stuff very tedious, and I really wish I could get the, the survivors to take care of this for me. Because, you know, I mean, let's face it, this isn't something I should have to be do. Having to be do. This is not something I should have to be doing. 
All right, whatever. I'm, I don't even have room my inventory, so I'm just going to say the hell with it and just not worry about it. Okay, so um, iron. Iron. Should we just put all of the uh, ores in here? Could we split up the ore? We could split up the ore on its own. I mean, we have enough room now at this point. Zinc. Copper. I don't have any copper, so that's fine. More zinc in here. Zinc. Did I use all that iron? No, it's right there. Okay, good. Good. Copper will go in there. And we could put these two together in here. There we go. I won't do it because we got to... Actually, let's just make the gunpowder right now. I think it's a good idea. We will make some gunpowder. How about that? How... Oh, God. I didn't even see all this stuff in here. Well, there's where all my copper went. Wow, I've actually got a lot more than I thought. We got some organizing to do, people. Hell yeah, we do. Let's go ahead and save the game. Save the game! I don't know why I'm so hyped to save the game, but... Alright, so there we go. 12 gunpowder. Not exactly a lot of gunpowder, but it's something. And uh, if we could just find more of the saltpeter, that'd be great. I mean, we've got a lot of sulfur. So... Alright, now that we've done that, let's drop that stuff off in here to make some room. Uh, we'll put that in here. There you go. There you go. Actually, like this. How about this? Like that. Like that. That's the final product. I don't know if I want to keep the um, charcoal in here. I'll keep some of the charcoal in here. I'm not going to keep it all in here because I'm going to have too much charcoal. Um, also, there's not really any reason to have... Yeah, I'm going to keep one of these in here. I'm going to put the other two on the road. I want to make, I want to make more of these... Um, uh, mortar and pestle. I'd like to have like two or three for the road and like two like at home. I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay. All right. Now we need to make some fence. We need to fence this in. Uh, well, first we got to take this. Okay. Move this into here like so. Put that down there. More iron. Very good. All right. Now we're starting to get somewhere. You know what? I'm going to put the low-quality metal in with the iron. So I keep calling it iron anyway, so why the hell not? There we go. I'm going to put the brass. I'm going to put the brass in with the copper. Just because... I mean, I guess we could put all the ingots in one area. Should we put all the ingots in one place? No. Because we're, we... No, no, no. We're going to put them in the way I've been doing it. I think that's fine. Oh. Oop. Oopsie. Alright. So, zinc. You go in here. Okay. And let's uh, get rid of this thing. Get out of here! Whew! That's what you get, punk. Alright, I don't know why I'm yelling at a locker. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and make some livestock fencing. Um, actually, you should put some doors. Because I'm, I'm not going to want that. I want the li livestock fencing, but I, I don't want it to be an actual barrier. Um... That would probably be a good place for one, right? Maybe? Yes, no, maybe so? Or maybe like right here. Yeah, I think that'd be a better spot. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a regular livestock fence here. Uh, like so. We just need to line it up as best we can. Alright, it looks pretty good. And put the door right there. Right? Right there. Actually, let's do this. Let's put one there. And then put one here. Hmm. No, that's not going to work. All right, let's try that again. Let's try that again. So we are going to put this one here, but put it as far over as you can. Line it up first. Pretty good. Uh, as far over as you can. All right, that should be good. And we'll put this one right here. Yeah, much better. All right. Yeah, that'll work. And then what we'll do is we'll take this one out and we'll put a gate in. Why don't I just do the gate first? I don't freaking know. Because they don't like lock in. The gates don't lock in for some reason to the regular fencing. All right, so first things first, let's line this up. Oh, wow, that's pretty lined up. It doesn't look overly lined up with that, though. You know what? I think I'm okay with that. Right? I guess. Let's save, just in case. Whatever, we can always take these apart. It doesn't really matter. 
Oh, are we getting a mist, or is that because I'm starving? <laughs> That's because I'm starving again. Uh, that looks kind of lined up. I'm going to take this apart, and then we're going to eat. <laughs> and then we're going to see what we can do with it. All right, I think that'll work out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so we've got a gate right here. That's nice. I like that. I like that. So now we need a gate. Do we want a gate right here? No, I don't think we do. I think we want a gate coming right across here. Yep. I think right across here. So kind of line this up as best you can. That looks pretty good. And then we will start this right here. Okay. And then we'll just bring this right across. Now, where do we want the door to be? Actually, I kind of think the door should go right here. Yeah. Yeah. I think the gate's going to go right here. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just keep putting these up. We'll delete that like we did earlier. And then that way the, these will just come across and be nice and, uh, you know, nice and lined up the whole way. Looks like it's going to fit almost perfectly. Ah, not really. It's okay. We can put another one in there. Now that he has the no clip thing, it's really cool. Uh, as a matter of fact, come on. Eh, I don't know. I kind of think it looks better like this. Eh, honest, I don't know. I don't know which way it looks better. That looks more realistic. Yeah, I'm going to go with realism. I'm going to go with realism. Okay, so this will be the gate. So let's go ahead and cancel that. And then we'll build the ones on the left, the ones on the right, and then we will uh, put the gate in afterwards. I feel like it's easier to put the gate in um, once everything's been built. Fences to the left of me. Fences to the right. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. Building a gate in the middle with you. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Oh, God. Come on, man. I know I hear something. Just go to freaking sleep. <laughs> I, need to, I need to have a chair up here or something so I can just sit. Because they can't interrupt you when you're sitting. Although, usually it wakes you up once, but then it doesn't wake you up again. So, not really a big deal. Okay, then we're going to build this one. No, we're not. Because we're out of sticks. Of course we're out of sticks, man. We need we need to get Scott to chopping, you know what I'm saying? Because this is it for sticks. As a matter of fact, we're not going to have enough for this. God darn it. God darn it. Come on, Scott. <laughs> Scott's like, what did I do? <laughs> You know what you did. Uh, Alright. So let's put this in here. Oh, that doesn't look right. What the hell? Why is that like tiny? What the hell? It's kind of weird. Um. Okay. Well, actually, it might look pretty cool as a gate. Since it's kind of smaller. <laughs> no, that didn't work out. I don't know why this thing looks so tiny. Jesus, what a painful process. Um, I, I saw what happened with the door. I'm not sure what I cut out, what I didn't, honestly. Um, what happened was I started the build on this side, right? Oh, by the way, that kind of sucks. If any infected get here, they could get over that, I think. Maybe? Uh, actually, maybe they can't. Maybe they can't. It's irrelevant because um, infected can spawn anywhere anyway. Um, but what happened was, here, let me uh, shed a little bit more light on the subject. There we go. Much better. Okay. So what happened was I started building on this side. And as you can see right here, this fence is in the ground. But since I started building on this side, the fence was on top of the ground. But then as I built over here, because I was lining up all the fences, they were floating off the ground. Um, and the door wasn't lining up properly. And nothing worked, but I got it fixed. There it is. And I think this place is just about finished. Probably want to put some lights in here, but overall, maybe a table or something just for the just for the walls. But overall, though, I think we are just about done with this spot. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I, I like the way it came out. I think it came out pretty cool, man. Look at that. Now, that's a that's a freaking smelting area, right? Or what should we call this? The work the workshop? The workstation? The problem is we have a crafting building over there. I don't know what to call this. What do you guys think? It's definitely like a workstation, but it doesn't have any crafting benches. It's more like a smeltery type area. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. What should we call this? Anyway, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.